Hi, my name's Carrie Franceman. I'm here at um, Click Clack de Canal 22. Los cómics para Carrie Franceman son su vida. Recuerda que de pequeña era una niña rara, pero esto es lo que ha influido en su carrera, la cual comenzó con cómics y después a novelas gráficas. El amor, la muerte, los cuerpos y experimentar con las diversas formas del arte son la base del trabajo de la ilustradora. So I started doing um, comic graphic novels. That's what I love to do. I love telling um, stories, but with pictures and illustrations. Um, I did this when I was a child, I think, all the time. I never stopped telling stories and drawing pictures, but I didn't understand that they were the comic medium. Um, I discovered comic when I was 22 years old, after university. I read Daniel Clow's Ghost World, which is a brilliant book, and I was so inspired. I picked up my own pen and paper and drew my own stories. When I was very young, I liked to walk around graveyards. I don't know why, I was interested in it. I had a strange collection of bits of bodies, so bits of hair, nail clippings, tears, blood, and I put it all in a little box. I was a strange child. I think that influences my work. The House That Grown It es la primera novela gráfica de Franzman. La historia se sitúa en un viejo convento victoriano, en donde seis individuos parecen vivir individualmente, pero entre más se adentra la historia, el lector se da cuenta que hay diversos puntos de encuentro entre ellos. And they all have strange relationships with their bodies. Um, there is a grandmother who blends into the background, so she's difficult to see. She becomes the sofa she's sitting on. There's a, a, a man in his 20 who is attracted sexually attracted to um, to women who are ill. So there's lots of strange characters, um, all who have strange relationships with their own bodies. Death of the Artist es su segundo libro, y esta es una carta de amor a las posibilidades de las narrativas visuales, pues el libro experimenta las formas de la novela. Death of the Artist is a book about um, by me and um, four friends. We all go together to um, to a retreat in the in the countryside, and we create a book, which is a book which we read. There's one story told by five different artists, but I pretend to be five different people to tell the story. So one artist, he is very colourful. He paints with watercolours. So I became him, and I painted his side of the story. The next artist was very uptight, and he did digital drawing, very detailed. So I drew that like that. So, um, yeah, it was interesting, a very different way of drawing a book, very experimental. El trabajo de la novelista gráfica también se puede apreciar en su página web. Es por ello que la cuestiono. ¿Cómo se relaciona en su trabajo digital e impreso? That's a good question. Um, I think comics are brilliant at being beautiful physical paper books, which can look like a little bit of artwork, but they also work very well as digital interactive books. Um, you know, with animation or interaction, you can touch and zoom in. Um, I think novels, traditional word novels, don't do this so well. Gary Franzman visitó la Feria Internacional del Libro de Guadalajara como parte de las actividades que el British Council trajo para este encuentro. Pero con esta, es la tercera ocasión que Franzman está en el país. Mexico is ahead of every other country <laughs> with art. I think. The, the colors, the people, the stories, the ideas. I love the fact that in Mexico they are not scared about thinking about death. You know, there's skeletons and devils and scary things as well. They understand that fear and um, death is an important part of life. And I think that's very unique. And I think Mexican art is unlike any other in the world. So now I think I just want to stay in Mexico forever and just paint Mexican art or make Mexican sculptures. Maybe I forget about comics. <laughs> I'm thinking of a new story now. Um, I'm not sure. We've been traveling around Mexico and I was supposed to be thinking up my new story and writing a lot. But then I started looking at Mexican art and I fell in love with Mexican art. Carol Franzman disfruta de México. Aunque su obra aún no está editada para el país, sus libros se pueden conseguir a través de su página de internet. 
I think I'm gonna go for artist and I'm gonna say classic Frida Kahlo because she's, <laughs> she's the queen of all female artists in the whole world. Agencia N22, Perla Velázquez.